What's up YouTube, Mike here with another video. And today I wanted to share my thoughts on Microsoft's new Surface laptop. So unless you've been living under a rock the last couple of days, you may or may not know that Microsoft announced a new laptop. Now this is a true clamshell laptop. There's no detachable screen. There's no kind of yoga S type feature. It's an actual clamshell laptop. And if you've not seen it, I mean, it is gorgeous. So as I'm talking, I'll show some of the Microsoft footage and video of this thing, but there's four different colors you can get. You can get a burgundy, like a platinum. You can get a bluish color, and it looks kind of like a gold. And of course, the, the silver is kind of what you've already got in the Surface lineup. But um, really nice looking design. It looks super thin. It's only around two pounds. It comes in an i5 or i7. And uh, there's multiple configurations. Well, there's four configurations you can get. And they boast that this will have a 14 and a half hour battery life for like video playback. But whatever that says, you should probably subtract at least two hours, but who knows? So once this hits the market, all the big YouTubers are going to get their hands on it and we'll know for sure. But my thoughts on this, initially, all the rumors were saying that this is coming out to compete with the Chromebook in the educational type market. However, if you look at the price, there's no way this is going to compete against a Chromebook. The starting price for this is $999, and then the maxed out price is $2199. But your average Chromebook is only about $400 or less. I mean, you can get Chromebooks for like $200. So I don't think this was meant to compete with the Chromebook. If it is, then I think Microsoft screwed up in the pricing. But I think this is really geared to go directly against the MacBook Pro, specifically the 13-inch model or even just the 13-inch or 12-inch MacBook. But... Looking at the specs of this, of course, this will come preloaded with Windows 10 S, which is Windows 10 with the exception that you can only run apps from the Windows Store. Now, for free, I guess within the first year, they said you can upgrade to Windows Professional for free. Or after that year, you can pay 50 bucks and have Windows 10 Professional. But I don't know anybody that is not going to upgrade to Windows 10 Professional. I honestly don't see the point of the Windows 10 S. That's just me when you could run full windows on it, especially with a core i5, there's no reason not to run full windows. You're just limiting yourself for no particular reason. So I don't really know Microsoft's thought process on that. I could see if they, they released this, you know, like a $400 model and then, you know, lower specs, then the windows 10 S would make sense because it would be lighter and better for the machine and a lower price point. But who knows? i um, curious what you guys' thoughts are, but to me, Windows 10 S does not make sense at all. But going back to this, like I said, you can get this in an i5 or an i7. The lowest end model, which is 999, is 128 gigabytes SSD, 4 gigs of RAM, and Intel HD 620 graphics. Now, I don't know why you would buy this one, to be honest with you. 4 gigs of RAM nowadays is just really not enough, and that's a tiny hard drive, to be honest with you. I think most people are going to go for the next tier, which is $1299, gives you 256 gigabytes and 8 gigs of RAM. And that, I think, competes directly against the MacBook Pro 13-inch, the same one I have here. And there is a massive price difference if you look at what this guy costs compared to um, this one. And of course, the Surface laptop is going to have a touchscreen. It'll support the Surface Pen as well. And it's going to be about uh, see, this one was eighteen fifty, so quite a bit cheaper. So, in that regard, I think it is a better value. But when you go up to the i seven model, it starts at fifteen ninety nine, and that's only for eight gigs of RAM, two hundred fifty six gigabytes of storage, which is still cheaper than the i five version of this guy. But if you go up to the maxed out five twelve, sixteen gigabytes of RAM, it's twenty one ninety nine, and to me, that's only fifty dollars cheaper than the. Um, 15 inch MacBook Pro with dedicated graphics and a quad core CPU. So I think that price is fairly ludicrous to be honest with you. I think it's just too expensive. But looking at the device, I mean, I think the design is awesome. It looks like the Surface Pro 4 and the Surface Book basically got together, had a baby, and spit this out because the top half of it looks exactly like the Surface Book. And of course, the keyboard looks exactly like the keyboard from the Surface Pro 4. And they took the same material that they've got on the premium Surface Pro 4 cover and slapped it onto that keyboard. And I think it looks nice. I mean, I think the design just looks awesome. Now, as far as I.O., I think 
another mistake. I mean, it's got a type A USB 3.0, um, headphone jack, and then a display out port. And of course it's got the uh, proprietary uh, surface charger that you can use. So if you've got an old surface dock, then that'll work with it, but no USB type C, which I think they should have at least included one. I still don't like how Mac just went all or nothing and put all USB-C, but it would be nice to see just one just because how capable the port is as far as for, you know, you name it, it'll do it. So I kind of think they messed up there. So I think the IO is a little limited to be honest with you, but overall, I think the design is awesome. Um, it sports great battery life supposedly, but personally, I'm going to pass on it just because now I'm kind of in the Windows, or I'm saying I'm in the Apple ecosystem just because of Final Cut Pro. But I would love to get my hands on one to try one, and I'm excited to see what other reviewers say once they get their hand on it, hands on it to test it. But I'm curious what your guys' thoughts are, if you think it was a home run, a hit, or a miss, or if you're interested in getting one personally. To me, the only gripe really I have is the price. I just think it's too high really to be competitive. So... I guess time will tell to see how well it sell, sells, but I just, I think they should have dropped the price um, substantially. I think the entry model should be the 999 for 256 and 8 gigs of RAM. That's just me, because I don't think they're gonna sell any of the low end four gigs and 128 gigabyte storage model, but I could be wrong. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. It was just my quick thoughts on the new Surface laptop, which again, you can pre-order it now, but you won't get it until 15 June. And then for the i7 model, it's not even coming out until I think August is when you can actually get your hands on it. But anyways, you got any questions, leave them down below. And I'm curious to see what your guys' thoughts are on this. Later.